If the creationist model is true, turtles never evolved from anything else, so there should be no transitional forms showing the evolution of early turtles from other groups. If the design model is true, it would be impossible to have, say, half a shell or half of any turtle features, you know, such as the uh, shoulder uh, girdle being um, moved inside the rib cage, which is something which makes turtles unique. So uh, there should be no uh, intermediate uh, features because in the design model, complexity cannot evolve in stages. In contrast, the evolutionary model uh, holds that there would be transitional forms uh, before there are any modern turtles, that there would be uh, fossils of organisms showing the transitional stages. There are no turtles known before the Triassic, although there are in the Permian anapsid reptiles which seem to be related to turtles which have a thick rib cage and bones in their skin, dermal bones. In the Triassic, the first turtles are known, but the earliest one only possesses half a shell. It has a plastron on its underside and thick ribs, but it does not have a complete shell. The first turtle with a complete shell, Proganocheles, um, is primitive in a number of features, such as uh, it still has teeth on the roof of its mouth, while the turtle with the half shell, Odontocheles, still possess teeth in the sides of its mouth. These are, are transitional features. Uh, Proganocheles also had a number of bones which uh, are more primitive and the modern turtles lack. Later in the Mesozoic, there are uh, more advanced turtles, but the group which uh, can retract its neck inside its shell, which make up most turtles today, these are known later in the Mesozoic. Uh, the more primitive group, uh, which cannot retract its neck, is known first.